Hi there, this is Janet Simmons and welcome to week two of Foundations of Digital Teaching and Learning Technologies. In this video, we'll take a brief look at what critical review is and why it's important to you. We'll begin with the analysis questions and end with the synthesis questions. In between, we'll learn about peer review, critique, and critical review. These are the three analysis questions for the video. Each question focuses on an important aspect of the video, so you should be able to answer these questions after watching it. You're probably familiar with the following words, but I want to make sure that we know the exact differences between some of these words. Criticism, as you can see, focuses on negativity. Think of it as fault finding. Critique should not be confused with criticism. According to Wikipedia, it's a method of discipline systematic analysis. It's never personalized, such as an attack on a speaker or writer, but is instead the analysis of the structure of the thought in the content and the item criticized. Review is similar to a critique because here we examine both the good and the bad conditions. And finally, there is peer review, which is a critique of an article or document. People who have a similar expertise as the writer carry out the review. For example, if you write something and present it to other learners in this course, it is then a peer review. I've noticed over the years that some students are very reluctant to enter into a discussion that might be deemed to be a criticism of a peer's work. Even if asked to formally assess a classmate's work, such as the criticism, if included, tends to focus on superficial issues. While there may be issues with shortcomings in students' understanding, it may be possible that the problem arises from a lack of appreciation of the importance of criticism as a form of oral debate, and perhaps from the inability to separate the person from the work. The peer review forms you'll use will ask you to provide examples that justify the rating you give to each of your group peers. This will help you become a reflective and critical thinker, provide me with insights into the group dynamics, and also be of use to help your peers improve as learners. In order for learning to be facilitated with a community of learners or practitioners, such as the community that is established in this course, a balance must be established between comfort, security, and criticism. This applies to all members of the community, including the instructor as well as learners within the community. The academic community relies on the process of peer review to ensure that a certain standard of rigor and quality is maintained. The community of practitioners, like any other, has certain conditions and standards that determine the strength of warrants for knowledge and claims. Long ago identifies four conditions that a community of practitioners must meet if consensus is to count as knowledge rather than a mere opinion. Let's take a look at them. There must be a publicly recognized form for criticism. For our purposes, the form will be in the classroom. For others, it is much more public. There must be an uptake of criticism. The community must have the means and the ability to act on critiques. There must also be publicly recognized standards for evaluation of theory and practice. We will have review forms to work with. Finally, there must be equality of intellectual authority. This helps us define what is included or excluded that results from our critical dialogue. So why is this important to you? Because these are the four conditions under which all students are required to participate in an online community of learners. Peer review for us will be in the form of critiques or feedbacks during the discussion following presentations. These are required in order to contribute to the creation of knowledge and provide each other with honest suggestions for improvement. Another idea that you will need to keep in mind is one that is made on this slide. In other words, the purpose of critiques are to help each other learn. The three synthesis questions will help you focus on the nuances of criticism, critique, and reviews. Understanding the roles these play in education will help you become a more active learner and also help your peers become better learners. Providing sound critical judgment of classmates probably isn't a task you're looking forward to. Just remember that critiquing is a skill that needs practice. The more you critique, the more confident you'll become and you will gain a fresh perspective on what others think of issues. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, it's imperative to offer honest feedback that points out both the positives and the negatives without seeming as if the critique is an attack on the person who wrote or created the work. 
feel free to talk to me in our tutorials about feedback and critiquing. Thanks for watching.